Somebody call the exterminator. We got an infestation here. Screeching out prayers to their blasphemous horned rat god, the skaven of the clan pestilence marched to war in vast chittering congregations. Wreathed in a miasma of plague, they seek to spread their vile diseases with pitted blades, fell sorcery, and rotting war machines. Skaven society is a tyranny moderated by assassination, and when they finally do manage to muster for war, their repulsive weapons seek to further only their own strange unknowable ends. As if rats weren't bad enough and plague wasn't bad enough. Let's get some plague rats here. Oh, goody, goody. This particular video won't be recommending tactics or how particularly you should run, run, your squeak, squeaks. But uh, we will be talking about how to build a vanguard list that will get you used to the way that Skaven play. In this case, Skaven Pestilence, because that's what's in the box. Now you'll of course need the Skaven Battle Tome and the Age of Sigmar rulebook to play the game, available at the links down below. Now let's look look at what we have here, here. <laughs> so, let's just take a look see here. Now, <laughs> nicely, uh, for all the filth and grotiness that comes with Skaven, uh, you get a whole lot in this nice little star collecting box. You get uh, 20 Plague Monks. You know, you can split up into two squads of ten, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you get a Plague Priest on a Plague Furnace, which is a fair whack of points right there, and you get a Plague Claw. This is kind of the important thing as far as learning how Scave and Roll go, because unlike a lot of the other armies in Age of Sigmar, where you're just like, yeah, I'm going to punt and I'm going to run up and punch somebody in the gob, like, Skaven are frail. They are flimsy, and you do not actually want to get in close combat. Uh, if you can all help it, unless it's your plague monks, and which, then, go for it. But, with that in mind, uh, you're going to be wanting to use your plague furnace and your plague claw to be doing the bulk of your heavy lifting. So, here's a wacky stupid thing that they did with the um, way that armies are built in Age of Sigmar. Everything in your army has to have the clan pestilence keyword to it. And that means that uh, if you're, as long as you're running Skaven like this, you're only running clan pestilence. Now, it's not probably a problem when you're starting out because you only have what you have. But that means that you don't get clan rats, you don't get storm vermin, you don't only get the, the clan pestilence special dudes. Like, the plague monks. Uh, which can be kind of disappointing, but... You know, we're, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, so that being the case, we got ten plague monks in there. We got the plague claws, big catapult, and we got the plague priest and the plague furnace. Uh, and in addition to all that, we get another ten or another twenty plague monks, which is another box, uh, which just sold out before I got uh, got to record this video. But life happens. Um, and then as your final piece of the puzzle, we have. The Vermin Lord Corrupter of Clan Pestilence, which is going to be, uh, I mean, you've heard me say it before, but the point of getting some of these armies is to get to the big guy, right? Like, especially with Chaos, it's like, the point of Chaos is to get to the big demon, because those are the cool ones. And this is... I mean, you have the option of building one out of five Vermin Lords, but in this case, we're going to go with the Corruptor because that's the Clan Pestilence one. And we don't want our Plague Monks to suddenly stop being Battle Line. Uh, yeah, there's your big guy. He's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Um, between him, the Plague Furnace, and the Plague Claw, that's all going to be doing the bulk of the damage your plague monks are just gonna probably just gonna sit there either on an objective or uh in the front of these guys to make sure that nobody just comes in and you know smashes them i mean maybe it doesn't sound like the most tactically interesting sort of thing but here's the thing you have to remember about skaven they don't care their little plague monks are there to be warm bodies 
and nothing nothing aside from that really makes a hoot a difference. Now if that sounds cold or calculating, I would remind you that these are rat men. <laughs> Uh, and uh, don't get too bent out of shape over it. With Skaven, you get lots of big, weird toys, and you have to back it up with uh, little chibly fiddly dudes to run screens for them. Uh, it's kind of like playing Imperial Guard. You can get all the cool toys and tech that you want, but it's, if you don't have a bunch of guardsmen to uh, keep them from getting smashed, well, then what good is it? Um, and in the same way, it's it's... Skaven are a horde army with cool toys that sit at the back and make life miserable for everybody else. It, you'll get there. You're going to have to make mistakes as you're going, but you will get there. Promise. Uh, and that being the case, this video is by no means definitive. The Skaven uh, model line is a lot bigger than just these two boxes, but... Uh, you know, this should give you an idea of just how Skaven will roll when you're starting out. And uh, if you head on down to the Fantasy Games website, you can check out our 1,000 points or bust subcategory and pick up everything you see here. And once you're done with that, you can come on back down and uh, we'll get you set up with uh, whatever you need next. Now, normally here I would tell you, hey, here's some ideas, but... Instead, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you about the new show we have coming up. It's called 1,000 Points or Bust Next, in which we take your 1,000-point army and we turn it into a 2,000-point army. So uh, keep an eye on that. Same channel, same time. But whatever it is you decide to pick up, it's all here at Fantasy Games. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, why don't you hit that subscribe button and get updated about everything that we're working on here. And, while you're at it, you can check out our 1,000 Points or Bust playlist here at the Miniature Rundown on Game Twaddle. Thanks for watching.